Hey DBR, it's Aurora. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're prepared for the workload. Make sure you're prepared for all the shenanigans that's going to come with it and after it. Would I have done my last challenge differently? There's no way I could have done it differently, if I'm being honest. There's already the fact that I don't know how to sew working against me. Add to that the fact that I was on spring break from school. I had absolutely none of my drag home with me except for my makeup so I could do the mini challenge. And the day I came back from spring break was the day that the challenge was due. I was also on RA duty that night. I got back around 12 to 1-ish, so I had seven to eight hours-ish to get into face, get an outfit on, throw everything together, edit any videos and submit it, and then get everything else done I needed to do that day. <sighs> well, I didn't really know what I could have done to the stuff I had in that time span. So I just decided, hey, I have this thing in my closet that looks similar to what Dakota had. I can do the challenge. Can I bring it to the level they probably want from me? Unfortunately, no, I can't. Not this time around. Did I expect to get eliminated? I expected it to be bottom two. I'm not bitter about getting eliminated at top five by technicality. I'm just bitter about, like, how I went out. It just seemed real shady, but... Whatever. Ain't nothing to do about it now. Debating? I'll be frank, if y'all gave a bit more constructive criticism versus just saying you hate it, Ellis, then I'd consider it. Maybe. If I could speak to myself right before I started, it would basically be prepare yourself for a shitstorm. There was just a lot of drama, a lot of negativity, a lot of negative emotion. <sighs> would you have those same doubts? Definitely. I knew going into this I wasn't going to win because I can't sew. I knew that was going to prevent me from winning. I just wanted to join this because I thought it would be fun to compete in something for the first time on an internet competition alongside Lucy and Sherry and Sanity, two members of my drag family, and then two other members of my drag family being on the judging panel, Miss Crime Scene and Betty. I thought it would be pretty cool, but I knew I wasn't going to win. So the doubt was there the entire time. It hit me especially hard in the beginning though with all the construction challenges. And then it just got worse because with challenges I thought I would do all right in, I kept getting low. Even when some of my critiques looked like I might have at least been safe. The entire time I doubted myself, it never went away. It's still not gone. Even if I knew I was gonna make top five, it would still be there. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool I lasted till top five. It's cool that I beat out some other people who are honestly much better than me. The part that sucks about that is it was mostly by technicalities. And I'm mostly talking about Tara and Miranda. Fuck them. But don't fuck them. You don't know where they've been. Okay, Mia, I don't know how to interpret this because I don't know if you're offering to teach me how to sew. If you are, great, but at the same time, fuck, because I learn best when someone shows me how to do things versus just telling me. So, as far as calling you, girl, I don't have your number if you are legitimately asking me to call you. When am I learning to sew? I don't know. Eventually. That's my best answer. Honestly, the whole freaking competition was difficult for me. Like, I knew going into it that I wasn't going to win. I knew because of the fact that I can't sew. I knew that that was going to be my downfall. I mean, I knew there was going to be challenges regarding 
construction and whatnot, I knew that was going to be difficult. I didn't expect it to happen right off the bat, but hey, still survived. Mid-Atlantica, with a K for Veronica. Though guys made one, it's between Thing 1 and 2, meaning Mythica and Atlanta. I mean, just listen to some of the shit they had to say to or about me. This is from Atlanta. There's a few. Okay, how about this? Your drag is literally pathetic, and that is the only word I can use for it. You can't even paint your face. Makeup is one of the easiest parts of drag. You can't even do that. I know you can't sew it. You have better, better outfits. You can't even style hair. What can you do? Do you have any talent at all? What part of drag are you even remotely okay at? Not even good. What are you okay at? What are you mildly passable at? Is there anything or do you just sit at home, put on eyeliner and call it a day because that is all you're good at and you need to give up because you are beyond disgusting. I mean, that's one of eight, but so far she said I do good eyeliner, so... Yay, something good. So let's start with that Lange's critique. Firstly, that wig is disgusting. I don't know why you're wearing it. Those colors are all wrong together. Throw it out. Secondly, I'm looking at your crease. It is unblended. Thirdly, your contouring. I don't know why it's on that angle, but it looks completely wrong. Your highlighting is barely noticeable. I'm not even going to get started on the lips because they are shaky. They are the wrong shape. Your cupid's bow is too high up compared to the corners of your lips. And the color is patchy. Your eyebrows are just an elongated semicircle and it looks absolutely terrible. But they also have a random point in the middle which should be closer to the tail end. Your eyelashes aren't on properly and they're meant to follow the shape of your crease and not your actual eye, so it pulls your eye up. The color that you put on the lid in between your crease and your eyeball is patchy. And I don't even... What the fuck is going on? Looks like I ran out of the time. What the fuck is going on with your nose? It is not sharp. It is not... It's barely even contoured. I don't even know what you're trying to go for, but you've actually made your nose look bigger and fatter. Plus, I see a double chin that you could have contoured out. I mean, that's what a lot of the bigger girls do to separate their face from their chin from their neck. Something you need to learn how to do. Your necklace, well, well drag jewellery, obviously you've got that down pat. So, all in all, the one good thing about this look is the fact that you've drawn on a mold. I don't even know if that's drawn on or press on. This is on a seven-month-old photo of me at a show in September, when Jujubee was here, here's the photo. And she's not done. Uh, and you've even gone for a little glitter highlight in, in the corner of your eye um, that you haven't done well at all because you don't just put glitter over black, that is not how it works. Which, if I remember correctly, I don't, I don't think I even put glitter over the black. I know I put glitter on my lid. Might have fallen on the black. I think this is when I asked her why I, I should even care what she has to say about seven month old photo. You should care about my critiques on the seven month old photo because that's the best you've ever looked. And I can still find fault in every single part of your face, okay? You don't look better than that. You have not improved. I mean, that's subjective. Let's move on to the next one, which is where I believe I said to her that I was in this situation I'm Bianca Del Rio and she's that random hater for Venezuela, insinuating that I don't give a shit what she says and she's just some random person on the internet whose opinion I don't care about, and she misinterpreted that, so here's her response. Okay, that's a fucking lot. You comparing yourself to Bianca Del Rio, that is beyond stupid. Yep. You have no, you are not funny. I didn't even do that. Coming. You don't 
don't have talent, we've dragged you, cannot sew, you cannot style care, you can't even paint your face, all of which Bianca can do. And you call me a random hater from Venezuela on Twitter. Is that meant to be a read? Is that meant to be funny? Are you trying? Because it may, like, you literally give off a natural vibe of a tryhard. It's not cute. It's not funny. You are just trying way too hard for your own good. Yeah, she's certainly trying way too hard for her own good to get under my skin. And I'm not some random hater. I hate you because you're an arrogant little twat that acts all high and mighty and I'm better than you, I'm better than this, I don't care about your opinion. Well, you should care about my opinion because I'm one of the people that has to look at your busted ass fugly face. I mean, last I checked, we're not Facebook friends, so she made the conscious decision not to look at my face. Busted or not. He addressed this. I never said I was better than anybody. I never claimed to be better than anybody. What she's referring to is her and Mythica, um, you'll hear in Mythica's reading thing in a minute. I said I didn't look at them as competition. What I meant by that is I didn't look at them as my competitors, I looked at them as just people that the judges brought on to bring traffic to the page. That's it. And they misinterpreted that. That's on them. There's one more from Atlanta. But the main point I'm trying to make here is that I can pull up things on you. I can talk about the way you do your drag or what you call drag. But what can you pull on me? What can you possibly say against me apart from the fact that I'm a bitch? I mean, you're immature and a twat and you try to get Dakota removed from a show that her best friend runs. So you're petty. <sighs> and that's one of the reasons why I said Atlanta is the shadiest. But then there is this. Next up we have Aurora Rissache Away. One time Aurora this one. told me I was in competition for her, but I think this can of Dr. Pepper right beside me is competition for her. I mean, at least it has talent. Listen Go. No one cares. You know what, Aurora? Even though we might not like each other, I do care about you in a sincerely way. I would like to offer you this blending brush, okay? This is by Elf. It's like five bucks. I bet you can afford that. You know what you can't afford? Thank Another you. low score in the challenge. Aurora Rissay. Girl, where are your nails? Did you lose them in Ariola's asshole? Oh, that's gonna piss her off. That one about no eyebrows, I'll give her. Question though, when the fuck did I ever take photos in the kitchen? So yeah, those two were the shadiest. It's been a ride.